Hi, this is Brumsky with 49 of Warclan. Today I'll be showing you a go wipe attack with a hog rider happy ending. For this attack, I spread out three golems and dropped my wizards behind them. I also used one P.E.K.K.A. For the spells, I brought one lightning bolt, which I'm going to drop on the clan castle troops right here. Then I brought two freezes, which I'm going to freeze the heroes and the inferno towers together. And lastly, I bring two heal spells to keep the hog riders up. You may have noticed I dropped my king and my P.E.K.K.A. a little bit late, and that's because they usually take damage from the clan castle, which is not necessary. When picking out a base to attack with a strategy, any base that has an open side such as this one is ideal for a hog attack. The key to the strategy is to engage the clan castle troops and the enemy heroes before you release the hogs. The next example I'm going to show you is a wedge base design. It's not quite as open as the southern teaser, but it still works pretty good. Pay attention to this opener. The mortar up at the top uses some balloons to draw the clan castle troops, but also taking out the mortar is important because it makes a more direct line for the hog riders. We'll see it later. He lures the clan castle troops down to the bottom and takes them out with two balloons. Pretty nice move there. For the first part of the strategy, he's only using two golems, six wizards, his heroes, and a P.E.K.K.A. is able to take out this whole part of the base. For the second part of the attack, he's using 16 hog riders. He has many more defensive buildings to take out than I did on my previous attack. He also drops all of his hog riders on one side of the base, which is a little different than my approach. This is a viable three-star strategy, even against high-level Town Hall 10s. Check us out at 49 warclancom Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.